Yeah, and it, you can really shake them off you, and you can reach Olimar when he really doesn't think you should. Like that Nair, just so good. It oh, immediately Nair kills gets two all, Pikmin. All the Pikmin off it. Oh, yep. I didn't even think about that. Pairing the purple Pikmin just to keep the uh, ledge, but the down tilt didn't quite get it. Right, this Nair is actually so good in this match. Yep. Well. That's what I was saying. Sephiroth actually has a lot more advantage than you'd think because big sword, big buttons, and especially a Nair that's as fast and does as much as that. Immediately removes Pikmin. You can't really stack up percent on him like that because they'll only get like one hit. And the only time that one hit's ever useful is if it's a purple or a pink Pikmin. White Pikmin. Ooh, we got grabbed. Forward throw. But it was blue Pikmin forward throw? Oh, no, it was white Pikmin forward throw. Two purples and a white. This is getting dangerous. One of them is a flower. Two purples and a red. Several is choosing to... Electing to stay away for a little bit. We'll see. The Nair not quite landing. Oh, it was a lot of shield damage from that purple F smash. Swigsy still throwing the throwing the Pikmin you guys as usual. Playing the long game, they both know. <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing. Yeah. It's just they're playing really good neutral. Yeah. Uh, so several playing have great a neutral. It's just that all hard to get in. Is, yeah. Double pr double purple Pikmin. I just know exactly. It's, it's gonna like. It's, it's just a wall of hitboxes that you can't really walk through. Oh, nice. But back the back air, air yeah. has enough range to do it. He went for the forward air. Not quite gonna work. The back air is gonna get him off stage again though. Down so not quite going to two frame that time. He tried to go for it again, but the two frames aren't quite connecting. Went for the explosion. Alomar or Swigsy waited, but that up air will the back air will kill Alomar. All right, we're back to this. How much extra percent can we get from Shy Guy? Oh, he tried to short hop up air. Yep. I mean, do the short hop there. The Pikmin stopped it right away. It yep. Was, it was just so oh, tragic. Yellow right, Pikmin up smash. Even. That'll do it. Good there. See, he before yep. he had the Pikmin on him. Really? Not, not giving Swixie a moment of time to rest or use the Pikmin. Reflecting the Pikmin. That reflector is so good. Yeah. And the uh, counter is so good. Yep. It goes off even if it doesn't get hit. So, even if you're in his face, you're still going to get hit. <laughs> he downbeat the Pikmin. The Pikmin getting, tanking the side B for him. Or side B, sorry. Good left try from Swigzy. Not letting him get center stage again. Swigzy yeah. Holding it really good. But he's still marching up, getting closer, running up on Swigzy anyway. Let's see if he gives Swigzy time to pick new Pikmin. But it happens fast. Yep. Oh, the blue Pikmin is out. Yep. If he gets the, uh, if he gets the grab, off to kill him right now. <laughs> but yeah, is he going to make it that far? Oh, yeah. Yep. Swigzy tried to dash in for the grab. Shy guy knew, he what, knew he what he wanted. Yeah, fared him and killed him. For yep. Him. And but the purple there Pikmin up smash. Oh, wow. Swigzy very classic. Shy Guy's been getting the kill. Swixie's been done right after this. Trying to keep yep. going, then. Shy hey, but if, like he keep, if he keeps playing it this way, he wins the match. Yeah. Like he keeps getting these small little uh, combos going. Olimar doesn't really fire back as quickly. Double purple. All the hitboxes are coming out. Yep, right and the red, just in case, for those forward airs and those back airs. Ooh, very, very dangerous for both players at ledge here. Because all it takes is one quick reversal and. Shy Guy's on the, ba uh, on the back foot with Olimar just bombarding him. Nairing out of his up B is actually a very good choice. Ooh, is he dead? He's dead. He's dead, yeah. As soon as he was, as soon as soon he hovered there, he was dead. Sephiroth's sword is just way too yeah. long. His, if, he, if he grabbed again, his invisibility was gone right away. Yep. So it was just there was, there was no choice. Right there. Yep. Made it. It's almost like seeing Sephiroth... Uh, Several players, when they back air and then stab the ledge, and they just wait. Or they forward air and they just wait at ledge. Right back into Suzuki. Taking no moment to take a break. I mean, you really don't know what you could do. If you don't play a lot of Sephiroth, there's really no game plan. You can think yeah. he's a really weird character in that niche. He's super unique, and uh, your game plan just has to evolve with the player. Like, as they adjust, you have to adjust to that. And that's the only real way you can combat him effectively. But we're seeing some pretty effective combatants right here. Bring him to 56, 71, before anybody even realized it. Electing not... He's 
saving a few of his more important Pikmin. He's not just throwing them like consistently as he was before. I think that's why we see him at an early kill. 38%. See, Swixie realized what was going on. He realized how much he, uh, what he needed to change. And what he needed to change was keeping his Pikmin alive a little bit longer just so he can get that damage out. Like, he, was, he used that red for a huge chunk of percent. And then the purple finally killed. Dodging the grab. Scary purple. Say it's blue purple. Oh, okay. Losing the blue. Oh, but the purple still out. There's the blue. Very good. Shy guy not being able to close out this stock. He's got the blue on him. Missed the throw. Still taking damage, though. Yeah, Shy guy not starting at the advantage he had last game. So yeah. He's, he's, gonna, he's the one climbing. He's up on the back now. foot now. But it seems like he's oddly at peace with this in the way of he's still moving very, very methodically and not – he's not really panicking. He's still trying to do his best to get these kills without working too much. Ooh, but the air dodge. Right. So if yeah. I'm, if I'm shy guy right now. Listen, he's up to the stocks. You want to relax, be patient a little bit. Think about what your game plan is. Because you're really getting answered right now. And, you know, I understand yeah. it. I get answered too. Oh, Everyone gain the kill right there. There it is. Okay. okay, use that time. He dropped down from Halo. Just reset. Clear the mind space. Armoring through the nair. Doesn't matter, though. Very great at read on the uh, air dodge out. Sephiroth uh, got the angel wing out. We'll see if he'll actually make it matter. Swixie coming back in this game with a vengeance yeah. against... Very, shy guy. Very good. At, it's actually very good right now at holding advantage. Shy yep. guy's trying to get, get the kill, get his combo started. Started his advantage state. Six is just saying no. No, Pikmin. not at all. Good little mix up. Take all 80 billion of these Pikmin to the face. He, he knows yeah. he has the blue Pikmin. He's just oh, waiting. Okay, There's the purple Pikmin. Pikmin up smash, up smash Swigzy. Swigzy looked pretty name a better, that game. Name we'll a better the, duo. See the adjustments Shy Guy can make, and I know he can make very good players, so I know he can adapt here, figure out his game plan, but Swigzy. Swigzy showing a commanding offense. Oh, back to PS2. Both these players saying, I want that run back. I think they, I think they both realize that what wins them the game is their neutral interactions. If Shy Guy can bust through Swigzy's neutral, then he's in a really good position, as we saw the game that he won. And but Swigzy players. made a really good adjustment of just hanging back and not using the Pikmin as much so he doesn't have to pick them. 1,000%. Mm -hmm. Both players really good at holding their advantage, too. Yes. Game one, Shy Guy holding their advantage really well, winning the game. So yeah, we watched, two, we watched two. each of them hold an advantage for a whole game. But the question is, who gets the advantage here first? Yes, that's the big question, actually. Who gets that momentum? Oh, good percentage. Great percentage. Just not hitting at that purple. Yeah, the nares, the nares don't seem to be uh, working out too well for Shy Guy. Especially when it comes to hitting Alomar. They're great for clearing off Pikmin. Oh, they counter hit him from behind. That's crazy. That's... Yikes. Ooh, that guy timing a little too late for that. Just a little bit. Great, great escaping decision that, to get away. That. He knew Swigzy was, he saw Swigzy run up. He knew he was under him. He was like, all right, I'm not taking that purple up smash. There it is again. Another Double purple, purple comes out. And Two purples out. and a blue. This, this is, is very dangerous for Shy Guy. Oh. Doesn't care. Up smash out of shield. Spot dodge. Up, held the up smash. Killed him for it. God, that yellow Pikmin. You barely even notice they're there, and you realize, wait, I'm taking damage. Ooh. Knocked him out of the throw. Immediately ran back, just I giving up the space, fight. trying to reset to neutral. tried to dash attack multiple times during this set. Never <laughs> worked out. Pikmin keeps tanking it, and then every time. Ooh, back here, kill him. Okay. He, tried to, he tried to read Swigzy uh, getting really aggressive for one of those moments where he just runs up, up, up smashes. But it didn't quite work. Uh, Swigzy was patient enough to wait and then punish him. Takes 28%. Great oh, parry. Aggressive up B. I mean, you can, uh, he's really feeling, the, you can see he's feeling the pressure, Shy Guy. Cashing the jump with the purple pick, though. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. Oh, they Should were I just next to each yeah. other. Should I get him back on stage? Killing the killing the red. Still two purples out though. This is really scary. Here comes the up smash. We're we gonna see another one. Yeah, just through the good. Pikmin. Tries to break the, his shield. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's still there's still another stock after this for both of them. We are far from over this up. So Shaggy is trying to hit him with these aerials like back air and forward air, and he keeps missing. And it's yeah. really tough because Swixy, I mean Olimar, so small. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. All right, we know Swix is really good at holding the advantage. See how shy guy adjusts from last game. I think the I think the main adjustment that if uh, if we see him do it would be great, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. The main adjustment is waiting for Swixy to throw all three because he's always thrown all three Pikmin whenever he goes for it, and just immediately using that moment to pounce on him and using him forcing him to use whistle to call his Pikmin back and armor through something. Or immediately putting him into a situation where you get uh, a blue, blue purple. Oh my gosh! But it didn't go that it didn't go that well for uh, Swigzy in the last case. Ooh, oh, good, good F tilt. Good F tilt. Okay. Using the range of the sword is also something that's really, really helped uh, Shy Guy in this matchup. But can't quite seem to just get it done. Sephiroth, though, with his comeback factor, what wonder rank? See what he can do with it. He has the angel wing out. Wonderwing. <laughs> angel wing. <laughs> <laughs> He's an angel. Look. It's angelic. Okay. Nice dash. He got the nice dash attack. Time seen hit all That's what I said. Oh! He charged the up smash. He knew he, he would try to parry. The sweet spot. Oh, okay. oh, the this forward is, air. This is, really this, is this is not looking good for Swigzy. He missed the two oh, frame with the down now tilt, we're back to and okay. now we are. We're, but this time Olimar's at 90, so oh, up throw, yep, kill him. up okay. throw, blue Pikmin. Yep, that's so scary. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That was a great set. Very close. Great set. I